Hey, greetings everyone. <clears throat> Another show and tell here with a uh, product that I found at the house. This is one of Dad's things. You can kind of see on the top it says uh, Robin's Steam Engine. Even though it's in a little hand planer box that came from Wolco. I think uh, this was probably bought sometime in the uh, late 50s. Probably the last time it was run <clears throat> would have been in the mid-70s when I got to see it go. Grandpa and I would play with it. But I'm not aware of anybody having run it since then, of course. <clears throat> yeah, so it's got written all over it. Steam engine. Let's that up. not found any maker's marks on it. I do not know the company or the origin. Needs a bit of work. The um, boiler here is no longer attached down. I'll probably tape it down when I run it because they usually wobble a lot getting a lot of the uh, RPMs out of it. And it's a, uh, as you can see, it's horizontally mounted, not vertical. Um, I did another video with a vertically mounted um, steam engine that was my stepfather's. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's done a couple of years ago where I uh, run it outside. It's too windy out right now to run this today, but uh, as a part of this video, I will be... Uh, Finding a good time, perhaps later this evening, if the wind dies down, to uh, give it a run. It badly needs some lubrication, so I will be oiling that and probably looking for any loose or broken pieces. Um, obviously, the welds sometimes go bad, or the uh, solder joints. So, if I can't hold pressurized steam, it will not work anyway. Got a little uh, wheel here to uh, hook up a belt, <clears throat> run a little saw blade or something like that. Yeah, this feels terrible. It's like binding up all over the place. And I'm definitely going to have to uh, fix something there. Another place where things go wrong is a, like it's an O-ring or a seal or whatever to keep this piston sealed and sometimes water spews out of there. But I have a feeling it'll probably, if I can get rid of this binding here, I'm pretty sure it'll run smoothly. So that. I noticed else in here is, there's a chimney stack, I think. Yeah, it's all busted up. I think this is just decorative, I don't believe. Yeah, it was never a never an exhaust port or anything. <clears throat> Here's the little uh, scoop that you put the fuel. It goes under the boiler. Some tongs for uh, usually for working with the fuel pellets or whatever. And this is. The world's, well, it's probably not the world's oldest, but a uh, very old can of Sterno. And it's it's pretty much full from what I can gather. This may have um, been provided when we last ran it in the 70s. So this may not have, this probably wasn't in there from the 50s, I wouldn't think. I usually use... Um, the solid fuel, little pellets, um, hexamine, I think, or yeah, I think it's hexamine. Uh, I can't run it inside because uh, when it burns, it releases uh, nasty like hydrogen cyanide gas and stuff like that. So it's not a good, uh, 
It's not for indoor. There we go, Bailey's. Uh, my grandma used to work at uh, Bailey's. It was a uh, hardware store. 35 cents. Pretty good. I never knew this, but uh, it says on here a division of uh, Colgate Palmolive Corporation. Can heat. Yeah, so that's all that's in this box. I'm going to. Um, Going to kind of fix this up a little bit. Probably put some water in it and um, see if it will hold water. I won't know if it'll hold pressure until I um, light the fire, but and also try to fix this binding here because that's gonna that's gonna seriously put a kink in our afternoon if that uh, isn't smoother than that. So. I'll be back and uh, it'll perhaps be later and we will be outside and putting some fire to it. Talk soon. Okay, we're back. I've lubed up the uh, mechanism. It is working a bit better. Still has a couple of spots where it gets a little stiff, but uh, anyway, have a look at this. This is this 40 year old Sterno and it's totally intact. Obviously this shit doesn't uh, doesn't break down very easily, so I'm going to try a combo of this and the uh, um, solid fuel stuff. Still an occasional wind, so we might get screwed up here, but solid fuel in there and I think I'm just gonna like maybe dabble a little bit of that shit on it. to be lit. Put it in. I'm going to let that build a flame and then we'll try and start it. Seem to be burning nice and vigorous right now. Smell the wonderful fumes. Probably gonna wait till I see a little of um boiling and bubbling up at the top there, it'll start to spit out of it. So I can feel it getting hot already. I probably only have it about maybe a quarter full of water. It's really hard to tell, it doesn't go in very well. I really need a funnel with a very tiny spout on it in order to get it actually... See it's kind of leaking out over here as well. Got one of the valves, try and close that off. Well, 
one of the benefits of this unit, as opposed to the upright one that I have, is that the flywheel and the uh, piston are separated from the tank so they don't get hot along with the rest of it. It's getting there. Starting to spray out the um, relief valve a little bit. I did have to free up the relief valve. It was um, it was completely seized. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a spin. We'll see what happens. I think it might be up to some kind of temperature. I don't know how much of a head it's got, but it's starting to leak out the piston here now, so you know that it's pressurized. Oh, it's just it's spitting super hot water out the side there. That's why I'm not standing on that side. I don't think it's got it yet. Getting some mega flame here, you can see it boiling up here, so. feeling we lose the pressure somewhere. Should run right now. Getting the flames out of control a little bit there. I can see on the video screen that the, um, the piston arm is kind of getting um, modulated by the video frequency. Kind of interesting. 
bit of a different on the screen, but it doesn't go out. Should have probably put it in 60 frames a second or whatever so I could slow it down. Maybe I'll do that next time I run it. Hell of a run though, I mean, my god. I never, uh, the other one I had would never run this long. What I want to do is put a little uh, belt on that pulley and uh, measure the RPM. Maybe for the next flight. Pretty goddamn cool. Still a flame going, so I'll let it heat up again, then I'll run it out. Not too much fuel left, though. Yeah, that ran a long time. I like that. That was multiple minutes. Feeling it's probably almost out of water. Anyway, that was a, I would consider that a highly successful run. That, that went for quite a while. And like I said, I'd like to get a machine, uh, something that will test the RPM of that. And just watch it fluctuate a little bit. You can kind of see it slowing up and speeding up, slowing down. Remember to check the description of this video as I'll have a link in it to the uh, to the run I did with the uh, stepdad's steam engine. And maybe now that we've had success with this one, maybe we'll um, run them together at one point. I got to remember. You saw I had to hold it down. I got to remember to staple or drive a nail through a couple of these holes or keep it on the table. Actually generates quite a bit of torque. Yeah, there's nothing left in there.
stuff's pretty neat, really. It's just got a little bit of residue, but... I actually think that combination of uh, solid fuel with the uh, sternal on top really helped that fire up quickly. Because the last time I used that solid stuff, it took... Especially even in a, in a gentle breeze, it took a while to get it ignited. Good stuff, though. It burns slow. It burns hot. Stuff here. This is the stuff that makes all the nice uh, hydrogen cyanide and formaldehyde fumes. That works good. Impressed with the sterno. It's definitely got some staying power. There is a bit of liquid in there, and I don't remember whether sterno normally has like liquid in the bottom or whether some of this is congealed out or whatever, but. Could go and have a fondue right now. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'm gonna call it quits here, and uh, I will uh, see you soon.